Hiya! So today I'm going to do a kind of like New Year-ish type video. Um, I'm not doing like a 2015 like roundup or favourites or anything like that type video. Um, so if you want to see some of my favourites from last year, um, I do have some videos on my channel. So check those out if you want to see some of my favourites of 2015. And I have done like a little roundup for like my goals and like things I want to do this year on my blog. So if you want to read about that, then I'll leave a link in the description box. Um, but on my YouTube channel, I always talk about how I'm not really like a beauty person because I don't know what I'm doing and I don't want to be like talking as if I know stuff because I don't know anything. So that's, it's not because I don't like it because I do really like it but I just don't want to talk about stuff and then people be like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about because I don't. I just completely like wing it most of the time. So um, I decided that for this year I would set myself a few sort of like resolutions just to... I don't know, just like goals I want to do like in the beauty, health and hair and beauty and all that kind of stuff side of things. So today in my video I'm going to do my New Year beauty resolutions. First up I'm going to start using a daily SPF. So the moisturiser that I use doesn't have SPF in it and I read on all these like blogs and videos and all of that you should be using a daily SPF. and. I've come to the realisation that I am coming to my mid-twenties this year, I'm going to be 25 this year, so I really need to start taking care of my skin to prevent like premature ageing and skin cancer and all of that kind of stuff, so I need to start using daily SPF. So that is number one on my list because I need to take care of my face better. I want to start looking after my hair more, so more regularly I need to do like a deep condition of my hair with like hair treatments and stuff because it isn't, I have dyed it obviously in the past because I used to be blonde um, and it is still quite blonde at the ends um, and I have had it dyed in the past year um, so it's just not in excellent condition because my hair's quite fine as well um, so this year I want to take better care of it and do like on a regular basis do a deep condition um, so yeah, I need to look up, I kind of want to try coconut oil because that's supposed to be good for your hair. Um, but if you have any other recommendations of really good like deep conditioning treatments that I should use, then just leave them in the comments because I would love to know. Something I seriously need to learn to do this year is learn to contour. So if you're with my Sephora haul, you will know that I bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit whilst I was in America back in September. Um, and I've only used it a couple of times because I'm still such a novice at this. So I think my major mission is to learn how to use this properly and not look like I've just rolled in mud. Um, so yeah, I need to start educating myself, watching videos on how to do it and all that jazz so that I can have like supermodel cheekbones because I've got quite a round face and quite... My mum says I've got like my family's cheeks, I've got quite big cheeks so <laughs> I need to contour. <laughs> I want to take more baths so that doesn't mean that I don't shower, I totally shower like all the time, <laughs> I'm not really day, but I don't take baths that often and I always see on like people's like vlogs and stuff and um, on blogs and all the like pamper evenings of people having baths and I think oh that looks nice but then I never take baths myself, I just feel like it's so much effort to fill up the bath and then you have to have a shower afterwards because you're all like hot and bothered from the shower and you haven't washed your hair probably and I just feel like it's a faff. But I need to, I, when I'm actually in the bath, I really enjoy it because I take my Kindle in there and like do some reading and it's like the perfect time to just chill out and do nothing. Um, so this year I definitely want to take more baths because I've got like lush bath bombs and stuff that I got for Christmas. And I've got stuff like left over from last year that I didn't use because I'm just, I just don't take enough baths. So this year I'm going to take a bit more me time and have a bit of pamper and have more relaxing baths and hopefully in my house when I get house I'll have a nice bath to make my own like little haven in so yeah take more relaxing baths wear lipstick more often so I built up a little collection of lipsticks and stuff but I just don't wear them that often I don't really wear lipstick to work um, because most of the time I can't really bother to do my makeup for work so half the time I don't even put mascara on at the moment because I'm so lazy um, but I want to make a bit more effort with like 
putting my face together so wearing more lipstick because it does just give you like a whole face a different look so whether you wear like a pinky one like I'm wearing today or like a dark one it just gives your whole face a different look so I just need to wear lipstick more often try new things so I stay a lot everyone like if you've watched any of my videos about beauty before I stay really massively in my comfort zone I know what things I like I know the way that I do things and I just sort of stick to what I know so this year I kind of want to try a few new things like I don't want to go like crazy and buy like everything and be like, oh my god, I bought this stuff and then I don't use any of it. Um, but I want to try like a few different like makeup bits and skincare bits just to see like if there's any other like bits out there that I like. So um, yeah, just try new things. I don't know exactly what that means right now apart from new products and stuff. So if there's anything that you would hugely recommend that you've loved from like the past year, then let me know and. Um, I could try it out this year because I need to broaden my beauty horizons right about now. Watch more beauty tutorials. So on YouTube I like watching like vlogs and like clothing videos and like hauls and all that kind of stuff. But I don't watch that many tutorials of makeup because I always think oh, I'll never be able to do that. So I don't watch that many of them, um, but I think this year I need to just start watching more and then it will teach me how to do things and I'll pick up tricks and tips and all that kind of shiz. So yeah, watch more beauty tutorials. So if you've seen any recently that you really, really, really like, um, then let me know and I can watch those. I found one I really liked the other day. It was a Kylie Jenner inspired one and I can't remember what the girl's name is but I'll leave a link to it in the description box because I really liked that video. Um, so I'm going to try and do a similar look to that and like practice something like that because it was a really good video. Um, so yeah, I just need to watch more beauty tutorials to teach me new things and that would probably get me a bit more like confident at doing beauty looks on myself because I'm copying a video. Make more effort with my hair. So if you watch my videos, you'll know most of them I just have it down or have it curled and that's about it. Because my hair is really fine. It's just, there's not much of it. So it's hard to do really like, I love all those amazing like braids on Pinterest and stuff. And I know they've probably got extensions in, but I don't own extensions. And it just, it just worries me that if I got like clipping extensions, they would look really fake and horrible. Um, but I would actually like to try extensions, but I just, I don't know. Again, scared. I'm just scared. Um, but my hair is really fine, so I don't do that much with it. But I would like to make more effort with my hair and try new hairstyles and stuff. Um, I just wish it was a bit thicker and it would look a bit more like zhuzhed. Um, but also I kind of really want to change my hair this year, I don't know why. I just, I've been looking at like a few recent photos and stuff like that and I just feel like it's gone a bit blah. I really liked it a while ago and now I just feel like it's really blah again. I don't know whether I need like a cut, I don't know whether I could like chop it. I think if I had really short hair it would look weird. I don't know. I always said to myself when I was like 20 I was going to have like a really cropped cut and now I'm like why did I ever think I was going to do that. Um, but the last time I had my hair short I was 14 and it was the worst decision of my entire life. <laughs> it was awful, it was to like chin length, it was to like here, it was just awful. And I took in a pair, uh, a pair, I took in a picture of Mary Kate and Ashley to the hairdressers, I know 14 why was I doing that. Um, but. I took in a picture of them to the hairdressers and it cut, it was to like here and it was just awful, it like flicked out the end and it was just hideous but I always, I've always, i always loved Cameron Diaz's um, hair in the holiday, like that colour, that length and I've always wished I could have that hair but I don't think I ever will, I don't think I'll be brave enough um, but I just, I kind of feel like I need a hair like revamp and I don't know what it is right now so if you have any suggestions of how I could revamp my hair then let me know because I, I consider going back blonde, I don't know um, but I don't know, my family are all like, oh no, I prefer dark head. Whereas I really liked my blonde hair, so I don't know. And then I feel like if I got a fringe, I don't think a fringe, fringe totally would not work for me, would it? I know that's not kind of what a fringe would look like, but you know, you get the gist. And then, I don't know, or if I like chopped it short, I don't know. 
then I'd miss my long hair. I don't, I don't know. Just decisions, decisions, decisions. But yeah, um, hair possible revamp and do more different styles with my hair so that it looks like I've made more effort than rolled out of bed because most of the time when I go to work I either have my hair wet from when I've been in the shower in the morning I don't even dry it or I literally roll out of bed do nothing to it and go to work so I am quite lazy with my hair at the moment so I need to make more effort with it I want to body brush more often so you know that one of those big like stiff brushes and you rub it on your butt and your legs to get rid of like cellulite and improve your circulation and all that kind of shiz um, I want to just body brush more often because I know it's really good for you to get the circulation going and all of that um, I just have one of those body brushes for ages and I just I go through a phase where I'll remember to use it for a few days and then I'll forget for like a few months um, so I just need to remember to do that more often so get that circulation going in my butt that sounds really, really wrong, <laughs> um, so I didn't mean it like in a weird way, but yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> and finally, a bit of like inner beauty, um, I need to drink water. I don't drink anywhere near enough water. I probably am dehydrated most of the time because at work I don't drink that much. I drink like tea, possibly like once or twice a day, depending on how bad my day is. <laughs> um, and sometimes I don't have anything so it's really really bad um, I just need to remember to drink water more often I probably should use my um, the diffuser like one of those fruit diffuser bottles that I got from San Diego Zoo I need to take that because that would possibly remind me to drink more water um, because it tastes a bit like less boring um, but yeah I need to just drink more water really to cleanse me out and make me all purified if that's a thing so those are my 2015 beauty resolutions. I hope you have enjoyed hearing about them. Um, I thought it was just a bit something different to set myself a bit of a challenge for this year because I do always go on and on about how I'm not like a beauty expert or anything. Um, so I'm planning to educate myself a bit better this year. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you're not already subscribed, then if you subscribe, that would be awesome. And if you are already are already subscribed then thank you very much and thank you for carrying on watching my videos because i know i do ramble on a lot um but hopefully i will see you in my next video